Yeah. Thanks for watching. No, it's not quite done yet. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Good morning. So, what you're going to learn here today is how do you remove the screen from BMW R9 Team Racer, but also how do you refit it? It's showtime. <laughs> Keep the washers on the bolts, less likely that you're going to lose them. And these are not particularly tight. The alloy just came out hand tight. That's all you need. Remember, don't lose the washers. This has turned into quite a big job. Again, they're not particularly tight. You don't even need a ratchet. Be careful as well, not to allow the tool to damage the paint. because you're going to need to grab a stunning pew windshield um, the easiest thing to do is once you're undoing the very last Torx bolt and it's loose start undoing it by hand you're doing that because what you don't want to happen is for the screen to drop and scratch and any of the R90, like so. Remember the washer. Okay, well that's, oh, that's starting to come off. You think, somehow. Ooh. Exposed. The easiest thing you can do is take the Torx bolts and put them into the slot, like so. That way it helps remind you where they came from. Whoa. 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 So the windscreen. The outstanding Pew Racing screen, those bolts also do have clear washers. That's very important. So. Remember, do not lose those washers. Don't lose them. Um, and then feel free. So on this on this particular model, on the Pew Racing screen, there are cutouts. There are cutouts here. The 
few racing screen there are cutouts that it goes into into the panel you can actually see the cutout shaped in the front cowling here push it in just like that and then torque up everything so take your uh, again these are t this is a t20 take the bolts and then pop them into the four holes you may have to push the p racing screen and the panel together Remember those clear washers. Check the bolt, the Torx bolt, before you begin fitting them. Because if you forget those clear washers, and you start tightening, and then it starts digging into the paintwork, there's no going back. You don't want that to happen. And again, you may have to pull the two together, like we've had to do here. Remember that clear washer, yep, which is very visible, very much there. And then take the next one, and that's Torx bolt. Put it in here. Um, so you've got one, two, three, and four. looking like an R19 racer. Can you believe it everybody? Again check your check your plastic washers there, yep. Hold the pew racing screen oh. and the panel together. You tighten them up. you know when the bolt is tight enough you'll just keep tightening and then you'll just stop the, the, the bolt won't rotate anymore um, and it's always a good idea to use the, the hands where you have the most power Time. Just give them one more check. Again, be careful of the paintwork. Do not let damage the paintwork. That's looking pretty good. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. At Luke Rides. It's a fairly simple job. Just don't forget to not lose the brushes. And that's a whole screen of choice. Thanks for watching. The little rascal has spirit. Has water. This is the end of the trail for me. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, kid.
Coffee time. Now take 